Filipino Pronunciation Guide. When learning the Filipino language, understanding its pronunciation is essential. Filipino pronunciation is largely phonetic, meaning words are generally pronounced as they are spelled. However, there are specific rules, sounds, and patterns that beginners need to understand. Here's a detailed guide to help foreigners learning Filipino with pronunciation. Vowels in Filipino The Filipino language has five vowels. A, E, I, O, U. A, E, I, O, U. Each vowel is pronounced clearly with no silent letters and usually with just one sound. This makes the vowel system straightforward compared to other languages. Let us have this example. So we have here vowel pronunciation, examples, and English translation. A is pronounced like A in car or apple. Examples are anak, anak, and anak in English is child. E is like E in bet or net. Example is aeroplano. Aeroplano. So, aeroplano is an airplane. E is the E in iglo or machine. Example is isda. Isda. An isda is a fish. O like in orange or not. Oras. Oras. So, oras in English is time. The U. U, like the U in put or umbrella. Example is ulan. Ulan. So, ulan is rain. Ulan. Consonants in Filipino. The consonants in Filipino are mostly similar to their English counterparts, but there are some distinctions in pronunciation for certain letters particularly those with no equivalent sounds in native Tagalog like F, V, C, or Z, which came from loan words. Let us have this example. The consonant B like the B in bat. Example, bata. Bata. A bata is a child. The consonant K like the K in kite, kapatid, kapatid, kapatid means sibling. The consonant D, like the D in dog, dalaga, dalaga, dalaga means a young woman. The consonant G, like the G in go, it's always hard. Example is guro. Guro. A guro is a teacher. The consonant H, like the H in hat. Halaman. Halaman. A halaman is a plant. The consonant L, like the L in lamp. Lola. Lola. A lola is a grandmother. The consonant M, like M in man. Mahal. Mahal. Mahal means love or expensive. The consonant N, like the N in net. Nanay. Nanay. Nanay is mother. The consonant P, like the P in pat. Puno. Puno. A puno is a tree. The consonant R, like the soft R rolled in some dialects. Rilo. Rilo. A rilo is a watch. 
The consonant S, like S in the word sun, salamat, salamat. Salamat means thank you in English. The consonant T, like the T in tap, tulay, tulay. A tulay is a bridge. The consonant W, like the W in water, wala, wala. It means none or absent. The consonant Y, like the Y in the word yes, yellow, yellow. A yellow is an ice. Special Filipino sounds. The NG sound. The NG sound is nasal and doesn't have a direct English equivalent except in words like sing or song. It can appear at the beginning, middle, or end of words. We have the example sentences. Ngiti. Ngiti. Ngiti means smile. Ngayon. Ngayon. Ngayon means now. Ngayon. Pangarap. Pangarap. A pangarap is a dream. The sound is continuous and produced from the back of the throat, similar to the English NG in sing, but it can be more challenging when placed at the beginning of a word as in ngiti. Ngiti. The second one is the letter enye. Enye. The letter enye is borrowed from Spanish and is pronounced like the NY in canyon. Canyon. It is commonly used in Filipino names. Examples are Señor. Señor. Señor is Mr. in Filipino or also in Spanish. The next one is Niño. Niño. A niño is a child, male child. Niño. Stress and syllable patterns. Filipino is a syllable-timed language, meaning each syllable is pronounced clearly and there is little variation in syllable length. Stress is important and can change the meaning of a word. Stress on the last syllable or malumanay or malumay. Most Filipino words have the stress on the second to last syllable. Example words are bata, which is a child, bata, puno, puno, which is a tree, puno, bata, puno. Stress on the last syllable or malumi. Some words have stress on the last syllable. This can be indicated in written Filipino using a diacritic mark called a paiwa. Examples, lupa, which is earth or soil. Lupa. Ulan. Ulan. An ulan is a rain. Lupa. Ulan. Glottal stop or impit. The glottal stop is a sound made by briefly closing the vocal cords, which is a natural part of Filipino pronunciation, particularly at the end of words ending with vowels. Sana, which means hopefully in English. Sana. Mata. Mata. A mata is an I. Mata. Consonant clusters and loan words. In Filipino, consonant clusters, which are two or more consonants together, are not very common in native words. Most native Filipino words follow a consonant-vowel-consonant pattern, but with the influence of foreign languages like Spanish and English, Consonant clusters are found in loan words. We have the word 
Escuela from Spanish escuela, which refers to school in English. Escuela. Computer. Computer. From the English word computer. Computer. Escuela. Computer. Escuela. Computer. Additional pronunciation tips for learners. The first one is clear vowels. Filipino vowels are always pronounced clearly. Avoid reducing vowels like in English about, pronounced with a schwa sound about, as Filipino vowels don't have a reduced form. Another one is consistent consonants. Consonants are generally pronounced the same way every time. For example, the letter G is always pronounced as a hard G like in go, never as a soft G like in giraffe. The third one is no silent letters. Unlike in English, where many words have silent letters, example like the night or island, Filipino does not have silent letters, so every letter in a word is pronounced. Common Filipino words for practice. Mahal. Mahal. It means love or expensive in English. Mahal. Mahal. Kaibigan. Kaibigan. So a kaibigan is a friend. Kaibigan. Kaibigan. Pamilya. Pamilya. So, a pamilya is a family. Pamilya. Pamilya. Salamat. Salamat. Salamat is thank you in English. Salamat. Salamat. Maganda. Maganda. Maganda in English is beautiful. Maganda. Maganda, mahal, kaibigan, pamilya, salamat, maganda. Please repeat after me. Mahal, kaibigan, pamilya, salamat, maganda. Filipino pronunciation is generally straightforward due to its phonetic nature, but learners should pay special attention to vowels like the NG sound, stress patterns, and glottal stops. By mastering these basic principles, foreign learners can improve their speaking skills and develop a more native-like accent. Maraming salamat for watching this video and I do hope you learned something new. See you in the next one. Bye!